Good morning and welcome to the Dark Mom Consortium for December the 17th, 2020. Good morning, Ed. Hello, good Hi. morning. You're up bright and early. <clears throat> it's, it's what, noon there? It's exactly noon here. Perfect. Yeah, I, I wasn't sure, considering how late you went to bed last night, if you'd be up by now. <laughs> Um, well, uh, I could not miss this because um, at 8 in the morning, <clears throat> the construction workers oh. came in to, <laughs> to the um, house next door, and um, yeah, they are uh, refurbishing a two-flat story, a uh, two-story oh. flat. Oh. Where, uh, where family just uh, had moved out this year, and so, um, yes. Um, now the family that uh, moved out why was... Why can't this be done in home office? <laughs> so the family and that also... moved out, was was that the uh, people you knew? You'd mentioned uh, them a couple of times, or was that somebody not else? Not precisely. The only mm -hmm. thing is... Um, I... Uh, Okay, I know from uh, silly movies that there can be uh, neighbors that um, go and uh, check the length of your... Um, oh, yeah. You know, uh, just look, uh, if you tidy up your own backyard and the like. Neighbors from heck. Yeah, and if everything is... Um, yeah, um, they want you to orthogonalize your... Uh, dustbins and stuff. <laughs> it's so true. Okay, so um, I know that family uh, in that way that um, I wrote uh, two petitions from another neighbor where I just said, no, I am not disturbed by the children. Uh, I, um, I feel uh, it's all fine. There is no noise that uh, that is, um, you know, you can't complain about children playing in the backyard. This yeah. is gross. So yeah. my so I said, no, I'm not. I I do not feel bad. Uh, I uh, have no issues with these people. No. Nope. Well, that's nice of you. Yeah, that was. Um, uh when it comes to uh discussions um between neighbors the landlord um uh keeps as um far away as possible from the trouble but uh cares uh, so um if there's something uh people shall um yeah um at least provide kind of a proof that they actually is something. Yeah. So, uh, yes, and um, otherwise, uh, it's um, no, you do not get a letter first. We got complaints about your something and do something against that. No, it's just um, we uh, we got some complaints. Please uh, check with the other neighbors how things are going and let us know. Well, that's very nice of you. I like that. I have to say my neighbors in this apartment building are reasonably quiet. People have kids, but the kids are reasonably quiet. They go out to the play areas and play, and you know, all is well. Yeah. I've never had bad neighbors, and I've been really lucky, I guess. Yeah, and uh, spoken with the, uh, the com uh, those who did complain um, are gone uh, for... Uh, went away years ago after that ah. so it was just yes um, i think now meanwhile um the children are just grown up and so uh, parents got to a smaller uh, flat because for two or three people you do not need um, dante uh, says ed's lawn is a half centimeter too high he must know mow the ground now Ah, uh, the lawn, right. Um, yeah. Exactly. And of course, um, I also have to use, uh, uh, I have to brush it, brush my lawn all day. <laughs> and of course, I'm hoovering the parking lot as well. 
um, for now I'm uh, not focused on game, I'm focused on the long-range sensors of my packed service. Aha! Because, um, yeah, uh, packet is announced and it says it will be, um, yeah, will be here soon and now Ooh. I'm uh, so... And I really want not to miss that uh, nope. packet. Uh, ah, of course not. If it were the right, uh, the the, uh, the right guy delivering, everything is fine. Who he knows me knows. Okay, uh, I need uh, I, I need my time, but I'm I'm there to pick the packet. But sometimes when they send uh, send a new driver, it can be um, interesting. <laughs> yes. Yes, that that's an understatement. We have the same driver for our mail service, so you get to know him. You know he knows where to put stuff for you. You know where to pick up stuff from him, and then he goes on vacation. Yeah, and at that day you find bricks in your letterbox, uh, your uh, whatever packet ends in the uh, shipyard next town. Yes, exactly. Exactly. So, uh, the reason I am having a bizarre day is nothing in any of my endeavors aligns, with maybe one exception. So I have Destroy Undine Ships, Dabo, which I did, and Defeat Six Captains on the Ground. And it's the same on the other one. It's like, I've had such good luck with everything lining up, and then there's today. I think I have, on oh. the other count, Voth on the ground, Vodwar on the ground, and... Uh, phaser damage in space. Uh, um, so, I mean, no, nothing lines up, and I don't know that I want to waste a reroll. They're not awful, they're just. Eh. And of course, you know, I could go off and kill Voth on the ground and get captains there, but that's on the other account. I could go kill Vodwar on the ground, but that's the other account. I'm trying to kill captains here on the ground, and I've only been able to make them trigger once. This is going to be an all-day project. And oh, of course yeah. I can see a lockbox sitting up on top of the... way up there. And there's no way to go get it. Not that I probably need any more lockboxes. On the other hand, I do have to complete an advanced or elite queue on this tune. An advanced or elite queue? I haven't done the universal on this account. Oh, somebody left their Epo here on the ground. Hi, sweetie. An Epo invasion on Nimbus. Ah. Yeah, uh, does that mm, does not make sense? Cause um, why do you uh, have periscope eyes if there is no grass around you? Those hide? are eyes. Uh, you know the Ipu with the peri with, with the um, with, with the uh, yeah, it's not ten tentacles. The uh, they are periscopes. Really? I just thought they were like antenna or something. Cause they've got eyes. I can see their cute little eyes. Sure, I think the eyes are on top of the antennas. So really? I really must have a close look to one of my epos. It's kind of hard to see. I just thought they were like antenna-y, eerie things or something like that. It's hard to tell. I decided a few years ago that I was going to make a plushie of an epo. I was Wow, that was a challenging idea. And after a while I finally like, I can't even get the right concept going here. So, one of these days I will make plushy epos. In my infinite spare time. Oops, now we get a Gorn Engineer. Gorn Engineer! Mom's coming. Oh, they already killed him! You stupid. Oh. Um, fine. 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 Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 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 I know that feeling. Oh. How dare they? How dare they? 
So then I thought earlier, well, I'll just go work on this account on the ground on uh, the Winter Wonderland and do the things that I can do without much equipment. And what happens? I go to play the Pi game and it's starting Cones of Conduct. So if you haven't played the Pi game while they're doing Cones of Conduct, well, don't play the Pi game while they're doing Cones of Conduct. Sure. Because the snow conian keeps coming over and mucking up your pie eating. But this is a great way if you're, you know, if you don't have any equipment to go eat pie. By the way, uh, I think the snow conian is on our on our side. It's the it's one of the. It's the other guy. What is the yeah, other guy? The the uh, the. the uh, the Snowverlord. Is it a Snowverlord? Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm pretty sure. I can't. Let's see. There's uh, the really Snorg. Bad. Yeah. The Snorg are, of course, in Tidal Pies, but uh, yes. In, in Gingerbread, uh, Gingerbread Village, uh, there is um, always. Uh, really bad snowman. Yes. I just can't remember what his name is half the time. Well, ugly big thing mostly fits. <laughs> that too. Of course, the Krampus, or the Krampiri, is also pretty evil, but I love it when he gets mad and his face goes all blue. Did I miss something? Okay, I missed something. Oh, maybe I didn't. Maybe I've already done it. <laughs> Dante says, if I had a nickel every time that happened to me, well, you know. Oh, yeah. If I had a nickel every time that the Snowverlord interfered with my eating pie, it would be great. I'd be wealthy. Okay, I clearly missed a console someplace. No problem. So they have something at some places here, Ed, called a Homeowners Association, an HOA, which is kind of what uh, Dante was referring to with the, your lawn's a half inch too high, your garbage cans are a quarter inch out of place, you didn't take them in by 5 p.m. And of course, um... Uh, sort your bottles by color before disposing. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> but, you know, we don't have recycling here in Indiana. It is hard to find any place that recycles, so I just put all my recycling in a big bag, take it back to Chicago because they recycle there. I just thought it was really Yeah, hard. well, uh, Europe, um, many countries in or, or Germany, of course, we, we have implemented recycling. On, of course. Uh, yeah, I'm, I'm just blown away that we don't have it here. Well, we can't do it countrywide because we have 50 different states and everybody gets to do it their own way. And then every community does it their own way. And if you've got a homeowners yeah, association, you, you, oh, okay, they do it their you, own you, way. You can, you, you can do cool things uh, folklore-wise. Like, um, for example, in Texas, there can be shooting ranges where someone just, uh, yeah, uh, shoot those bottles just catapulted into the sky. <laughs> yes. And overnight clean the shooting range. <laughs> <laughs> we have a, there's a shooting range on the north side of Chicago that finally got sighted. I want to say it was by the EPA because they had left so many casings on the ground they were concerned about um, lead contamination. So they had to go out and clean up all the casings. It, they weren't shut down or anything. They just had to go do a cleanup. Oh, so it's okay. not I, I what you would think. the casing just to be of paper or copper or the like. Uh, apparently there is trace amounts because it got dated back so long ago. I mean, this place has been around for like 100 years. Oh, oh okay. Um, okay. Okay. <laughs> So, yeah, they did clean it up, but I just found that amusing. It's not what you'd expect. Neighbors didn't complain. Homeowners didn't complain. The EPA complained. 
casings are made of brass. Thank you, Dante. Agency? Yes. Environmental Protection Agency. Dante says casings are made of brass. So it was something there that was contaminating the ground. Or so they said. I suppose you could recycle everything at some point. Yeah. This goes back a ways, Dante, but uh, it's probably less than 20 years since this happened. And I want to say it was maybe in Wilmette, which is a very upscale community. But there's an outdoor shooting range. Good. Oh, that's you, Ed. Good morning, Ed. Yeah. Well, I know you're waiting on your package. So is there anything yeah, yeah. we can the, uh... do while we're waiting for your package? Okay, according to Zenzos, uh, delivery uh, van is um, 300 meters away. Ooh, well, then we definitely won't do anything. Oh. 300 ma- meters is close. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Even a Gorn can run that distance. So as I said, I've got ground stuff, meh. I've got undine chips, <clears throat> and I have phaser damage in space. And all of these not on the same accounts. Uh... Hey, by the way, Dante, if you haven't read your email, I love your song. Okay, we'll be signed for one. We we'll get my uh, mask ready. Yeah, absolutely. Ooh, I'm glad you said that. I have to remember my mask. I was wearing my jacket. I've been trying to sing at Ivo, but it's uh, it's six fifteen in the morning here, and I don't think my neighbors would appreciate it. It's bad enough that I've been practicing the Barbie song, but I will definitely work on that one after I finish Barbie song for Monday. I didn't mention the Barbie song last night. I can't believe that. You still there, Ed, or are you off to the door? He's off to the door. Um, so yesterday, no, two days ago, for those of you who are listening, Ed pointed out that uh, Cryptic was asking for people who would like to be interviewed for their last uh, live stream of the year, which was last night. And Ed suggested that I volunteer, which I did. And I was the last guest on last night. So. And I forgot to mention the Barbie song, but I talked about all of you guys because you're all awesome. Because you are. All right, where can I get a captain? I can get a captain over there. And by the way, we will have a live stream tonight, though I don't know if it's going to be me or DT since he was going to run last night's. And that got preempted. Oh, don't forget, everybody, um, starting tomorrow, I think after 10 o'clock, there's a freebie thank you from Cryptic with four retrain tokens and a XP upgrade as a freebie to everybody. As a thank you for dealing with all the respecking of everything, which I found to be great because it gave me the opportunity to respec out characters over and over and over and over and over and over and over. But to try out a few things I hadn't tried yet. Ugh, is there an easy way to get there? No, not really. And next week we will have a live stream on Monday, Tuesday, and Wednesday morning and evening? No, Monday and Tuesday, Wednesday morning, and Monday and Tuesday evening. Wednesday will be off, Thursday will be off. Might be on on Christmas night, though. We will see. Okay, mask now safely rests on my forehead. Excuse. So when the doorbell rings, I just pull it down and um, everything is nice. Well, I 
took my mask to the grocery store yesterday, but since I walked to the store, I had on uh, my jacket instead of my coat, and hopefully I'll remember it before I walk out the door to switch it back to my coat. Normally I leave it hanging on my door, so I don't forget it quite so often. But it is in dire need of a bath tonight. Probably actually should buy a new one. They have really cool Star Trek masks now. Like Nosekin breath masks? Ooh, that would be cool. No, these are like uh, red and black ones with Captain's Pips on it, and uh, they've got them with the Federation logo. So they kind of look, there's some that look TNG, some that are Voyager. Um, I probably uh, should yeah. get one more because it looks like it'll be at least two months before the vaccine's available for us plebes. Though they're uh, doing vaccinations for people who work at the hospital here already. Uh, by the way, mm -hmm. uh, good news for uh, German um, Star Trek Lower Decks will be on Germany on Amazon Prime January 22nd. Ah, oh, excellent. And, um, well, the two-minute trailer is a massive spoiler warning. Spoil away. Because we're not in Germany. <laughs> Con. <laughs> if you, uh, some of the, several of the things you see in the trailer have been one of the coolest surprises watching in the episode, so it's a massive spoiler warning, but yes, it's, uh, okay, I entirely enjoyed it, and um, I also, uh, yeah, think a good, uh, good pick for the voiceover. Who does the voice? In Germany. Of? Yeah, we. Uh, is it dubbed? We dubbed. Uh, uh, ah. in, in Germany, everything, almost everything is dubbed. That is, for example, and um, usually um, there is uh, um, the uh, great actors uh, in American movies always get the same uh, same speaker when okay. they're dubbing. Okay. That makes some that sense. Is, uh, and um, exception was just consider when you watch Die Hard 3 and suddenly Bruce Willis speaks for, with a voice you are used from Nicolas Cage. <laughs> 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 okay, that could be disconcerting. Uh, yes, indeed. And uh, after that, again, the regular uh, actor was employed. And yes, we... It's like uh, when you see the the great um, the great cartoon movies uh, where uh, ec excellent actors doing the voice. Yes. We have it in Germany at the same time, so dubbing is uh, second income for our uh, actors ah. on a regular basis uh, wow. for the good ones. That's interesting. Yeah. And also, it's um, yeah sometimes. Uh, you don't know the uh, the uh, the voice uh, the the voice uh, play uh, yeah voice speaker I guess you you don't know the speaker at all mm -hmm. until suddenly you get a message somehow somehow voice off here died of old age and Aww. you oh no Aww. There is a subgenre of voice actors. Um, some of them have actually done Star Trek, or Stowe, that is, where they are strictly noted for their voice work. And but of course, uh, when we when we have the uh, end credits mm -hmm. in uh, um, at, in in, uh, in TV shows, we meanwhile have always, always a, a list at the end of the speakers. Well, the first night I was in Germany, the very first time, we'd flown in, drove out to the hotel, got checked in, had our dinner, and due to the time difference, of course, I couldn't sleep, so I flipped on the TV. Very first thing I saw when I got to Germany was Star Trek II, in German. So I thought that was a good omen. 
Not that I understood what, well, I knew what they, I knew what they were saying without understanding what they were saying. Breath of Khan. Yes, <laughs> yes, in German. But of course I see Kirk and Spock. I'm thinking, okay, Kirk and Spock, and those aren't the voices I'm hearing. It just took a little while to make the mental shift. Well, I've gotten two more captains standing here on Voth land. There's another one. Let's go get him. Five. One more, guys. Give me one more. So I took the laptop to work yesterday and was able to play via my phone. Not much for battles and certainly much for gr not much for graphics, but at least I was able to play. I was able to do my daily race and my epos. And of course my boss is going, well, what are you doing? I'm playing Star Trek. Oh, it's a game? Yes, it's a game. Wow. Because she likes Star Trek, but she had no idea there were games out there for Star Trek. But I guess if you don't do gaming, how would you know? Now is nine stops away. Nine stops, excellent. And of course, when one stop away, uh, status change to uh, driver uh, assigned to lunch break. <laughs> of course. No, they aren't, but <laughs> that would be. <laughs> Oh, I see a Farang warping in and warp on the player now beaming down to the Romulus. Oh, gosh. Yeah, this is a non, uh, my non action morning today. I forgot to ask Hal about something. I'll... Um, yeah, I uh, tried to get. Uh, but, um, I'm currently. Uh, biggest question What color will be here? hair next year. Yeah, I, I was going to tease him about that. Because it was green at the uh, convention the past few years. Okay, green is not green screen. Uh, it's not green screen compatible, but uh, there are so many other options in Colorland. Well, he looks good with because he does, you know, just the shock, that part that comes across in green. But green is a really hard color to do, for those of you who don't know that, in hair dye. Uh -huh. It fades out super fast. It doesn't last. So the guy who does my hair is like, it's the color of the devil. I'm thinking, shouldn't that be red? He goes, no, red sticks. Green doesn't stick. Come on, this Gorn is... By the time we eventually get to the city, the dino will be dead. And it would count as my last captain. Run, Gorn, run! Run! Bloop, 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 bloop. No, he doesn't have snowy boots, by the way. Well, maybe he can do without. Well, he's going to have to do without for the moment. Come on, let's get him. I just need to get some damage on him. There we go. And insult injury, it bit him. And I got the captain, yay! And I got some cybernetic implants, yay! And I got a personal endeavor. Okay, that was good. So what did I get? 
Mm, quarter spec and 250,000 EC. I can take that. Uh, I can use that stuff. Oh, I know. Currently, the uh, driver has a hard job. I know the uh, I know the house is uh, in the road he's currently serving. Ah. Yeah. Each house, um, small stairs uh, to the main oh. to to the entry, and uh, also steep stairs. They are more or less um, a k kind of um, yeah, hillside. That would be awful. Uh. So my idea to Cal was, of course, for the Winter Wonderland that we need something to debuff the uh, various things that freeze us. And I think they need to sell for like 20 EC each hot chocolate or something like that that you can eat. You know, this is your hot chocolate battery recharger thing. Ah, I see a gun delicious. Yes, here I am. Ta da! Yeah. So, this account now has. Oh, not enough of stuff. I probably should just send some over from the other account. By the way, if anybody needs gratitude beads, let us know. We have a few. Thing is, the uncommons drop as often as the, the commons, I know. but uh, use crazy. much less. So I know. I know. The the supposedly rare stuff piles. And the thing is, it's selling for a lot of money. Oh, I'm at the point of maybe we should put some of them out there on the market. We have, I think, Pi said we have nine thousand of them. So if anybody needs gratitude beads, we have a few. Oh, I apparently have quite a few Endeavor rewards I've never opened. Probably helps if I open those things up. Okay, and now um, the waiting is interrupted. I have to do a bio <laughs> break, so I will wait <laughs> elsewhere. Watch, okay. that's the moment he comes to your door. Exactly. Um, I'll be back. Okay, I'll be here. Hopefully. For folks out there, I'm going to switch accounts really quick. Maybe. Apparently I'm not doing anything really quick at the moment. Ugh, oh, a scram period, bud. Let us send Kethwa out to Cranberry Land. Got two minutes left. Where is she? She's right there. Yes, yes. Send me to Cranberry Land. Oh! I don't see him. He's moved. There he is. So there's a happy medium between the number of people out here playing and the number of people who can generate prizes and steal prizes. So it looks like five to six people gets you the maximum amount of present drops, but he only drops like five or six presents at a time. So if everybody takes one, it works great. Unfortunately, people try and take two or three or four.
This year, Mr. Cramperia, we have not been naughty. We have been very good this year. We have put up with a lot. All right. So for those of you who watched the live stream last night, uh, the gentleman who was on just before me runs his game with spreadsheets. Smart man. I run my game with spreadsheets. All right, let's see. We need 23. We need... We only need one more green one? Yep, one more green one. And seven more blue. And 23 red. What the heck? Drop more red boxes, guys. Across my accounts, virtually everyone needs red, and sometimes as many as 30 red boxes. So 30, 50, 70, 90, 120, 150. I'm going to have to play this game roughly 150 times. Sorry. Sending messages to my husband. Oh, no, that, you're, Dante, I love your song. Definitely love your song. And I was thinking, you know, let DT know and Pi and Ed and a few others, and maybe we make an event of trying to sing that. Obviously, we can't sing it with the background music because that's copywritten. Snowball fight. Who needs a snowball fight? Kethwan. Oh, Kethwan needs snowball fights. Okay. We have any toys? We have good toys. Heading out to the valley first. I found two toys that I really love for the snowball fights. One is the shaved ice gateway, and the other one is the shaved ice something or another. Let's see if I've got enough room here to put that stuff in there. I do. So let's grab those. There we go. Let's go over here and see what the nice vendor has. Let's see, ground equipment. Nip, 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 nip. Nope, that's real ground equipment. I want shaved ice flurry, I believe, is the one I want. Good, now I got them both. Now let us run over to the valley. Yes, I'll put all the stuff back. And that's my stash anyway, not that. That's not the fleet stash. Again, if anybody needs stuff, including recipes, we have got so much stuff. So let's see, it doesn't say how long that takes, and it doesn't say how long that takes. Okay, we'll just see if we can trigger them both pretty quick here. Oops, no, 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 I didn't want you to go yet. Oh, gosh darn it. It's just trying to move it into a different part of my spreadsheet. Mm. 27 seconds, well this won't last 27 seconds. Say la vie, wrong button. So as you watch, the little shaved ice gateway just kind of runs through there and kills them all. <laughs> so if you have both of them, it's very effective. I just wish it lasted longer. Or you could buy two. I wouldn't mind having two. I 
And then you equip yourself with the hot chocolate. Oh, somebody else is here. Just saw an icicle hit an ice or a snowman in the head, and I'm not doing icicles this time. All right, let's head over to the next valley. Get the oops, wrong way. already. Somebody already been here? No, nope, somebody's nobody's been here yet. Let us continue our slaughter as we head back to the lake. Hello, I'm back. Hello, you're back. I'm killing snowmen. By the way, do I sound muffled? No, not at all. You sound very clear. Cool, so I can do COVID-proof voice chat. <laughs> no computer viruses for you, sir. Indeed. Well, the Snowverlord is now on oh, the ice. Oh, yeah. So. Four more stops and packets come. Yay. Na, no, na, na. Okay, so the Batleth of ice or of, uh, candy canes isn't really effective against the Snow Overlord. Yeah, close combat against uh, a big uh, pushback push monster is <laughs> not real effective. But you know, I wanted to have some fun, see if that worked. Sure, you can. I have done no fishing yet this year. For some people, ice fishing uh, became the standard um, thing they want to do every day. Yeah. I love the effects. I, it is fun. I just haven't gotten around to doing it. Maybe this weekend. I have to do a little holiday shopping and some holiday wrapping of presents. And that's about it for my weekend. Yeah, I think these days everyone is a rapper. <laughs> this is true. This is true. I love all the debris around here with the little ping pong ball things and all the colors. All right, so the question is, I want to get the uh, blue and white sweater. So let's take a look at costumes. Klingon liftoff. Yeah, I definitely like that sweater. And I can afford it. Probably should buy all the sweaters at some point. Festive Enterprise? Which one? Oh, I don't know that sweater. I need to get images of all the sweaters. Uh, some images are, um, have, are or have been disturbingly confusing. Oh. Oh, there we go. There you go. Go ahead. Go get your packages. 
Alright, so let us open up our new sweater. Oh, we had an old sweater here too. Modify, darn you, modify! So let's put on our Klingon liftoff. Oh, it's on the back too. Okay. That was really important. So I'm turning this into an actual knitting pattern, and those background patterns are crucial. But since this goes all the way around, but it's clearly seamed up the side. Okay. Now I need to get some pants on. Better pants. What? We don't have... Okay, we can wear white pants, I suppose. And let's switch out our boots. Come on. Give me appropriate snow boots, folks. We'll just do white boots. Blue would be better. Hmm. Oh, that's really not attractive. Talaxian pants. But what if we do this? Yeah, no. we could be boring and just have blue pants. Come on, give me navy blue pants, guys. Well, those look like jeans. There, we'll take white jeans. There we go. We're good enough for the day. We look very Christmassy now. Hey, CJ Grantham! Welcome aboard! Welcome aboard as my tune starts putting on her winter clothes, finally. Let's throw all the goodies back in the bank here. Hey, people who just raided us, does anybody need any winter stuff? Our fleet bank has um, a lot. This is a very, very big understatement. We have a lot of stuff. So if anyone needs stuff, let us know. We have all the recipes. I think we have all the recipes. I was chatting with our main guy out in Narnia, and I think he said we have every recipe. We have all of the goodies. We had nothing better to do than save them up from last year. So if anyone needs stuff, let me know. It's free. Don't worry. I mean, if you want to give us money, that's great, but no, they're free. So let's see what we're sitting on at the moment. Oh, of course, we're all the way over here. Whoa, I am back. <laughs> You're back just in, um, just in time. Yeah. Some One like... big packet, that big, it was even a hard job to show it, wow, <laughs> show it to the kitchen. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Is it all food and yeah, stuff? Uh, but the, the driver had. Oh, thank goodness. Yeah, and it was my favorite guy, so we exchanged Christmas greetings and stuff. Oh, that's nice. That's right. Oh, uh, yeah, we're coming right up on Christmas, aren't we? keep thinking it's a week from no christmas eve is a week from today right yep wow. absolutely yeah i, I yeah. guess i should start my shopping <laughs> oh right. and now just 10 minutes yeah i know 10 minutes left in stream but uh, you uh, have you uh, have the uh, possible 
You could uh, hear me waiting live. Yes, I got to hear you waiting, waiting live. for a packet. Indeed. <laughs> well, would you like to do something short and sweet? Like something an, short and sweet. Like an ISA, if I can find who's got the phasers. I want to say it's Kethwa who's got the phasers. Because I need to do 500,000. We could do an ISA super quick. Quick Icer is cool. I just will. Yeah. She's got a nice phaser build. Wake up. Uh, She's Klingon. Klingon. Okay. Um, Captain Cuddles will will be happy to do some shooting. Oh, he has been a little bit uh, grumpy, mum, because uh, at this moment, Vindictor gets all my intention. <laughs> but. Well, uh, Captain can you has got how a... that cuddly looks when he ruffles his hair? No, I, I can't. Im... It, it's probably like on my dog when she gets stressed and the back of her hair on her back just kind of stands up. So I can see that with Captain yeah. Cuddles. Yeah. Let me know when you're ready and I'll cue this puppy. Oh, I'm fine. Okie doke. So, do 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 do. We are queued for little Isa. So it gives us uh, something to do together. I got no green Ooh. alert yet. Okay, let me unqueue us then. We are teamed. Oh, I think I know why. Okay. And mm, now uh, try again. Okay. Did you wee get... Woo. Wee woo. Okay, good. Poof. Yeah, it was me. It was you. Okay. Um, I was in a private group. Oh, okay. And uh, that messes up teams. Yes, it does. Everybody, check your status when ha when you have been in a in, in a uh, in, in a private group. That's really uh, teams and private groups mess up each other. Yes. It's nice, but then when you get out of it, it just messes it up. Excuse me. So, CJ Grantham and your Raiders, how are you guys doing today? Everyone's so quiet. It's me and Ed chatting and Dante throwing in comments here and there. Well, maybe uh, we uh, should do more action these days, because now um, this was the packet that ended all other packets for this year. Okay. I will bear that in mind. There will be no more waiting for things. It's just now uh, me and, and the bat cave. Yeah. Um, I, oh, you heard what I was telling Kel last night about yeah, Captain Cuddles and Dr. Manhattan and all the others. Yeah. I think he liked your Dr. Manhattan. Now all I need to do is get a job where I can stay at home all day long and play Star Trek Online. The dream job for all of us. Oh, I'm not parsing this. Oh well. What did we miss? There we go.
right today. Probably not. Dun, 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 dun. Eh, yeah, a little too close. Hi, Cube. Bye, Cube. Rest well. <laughs> All right. Let's see if we got my 500,000 damage on that one. And, yep, got my 500,000 damage. Yay! Wow, I've got a lot of stuff I never am going to use. But we'll play with that one. And that brings us up to 657, so I think I'm going to have to call it a day. Or the beginning of a day. Um, so next week, at Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, I will be available to do morning shows, and evenings would be just Monday and Tuesday, because I'm going to drive home on Wednesday night. And while I might get yeah, home in but time... Yeah, it's Christmas. Chris, yeah. It is. It's Christmas Eve Eve. Yeah, Christmas Eve Eve, and I want to be able to sleep one night before the festivities. Not that we stay up late anymore. The old days when it was just the adults and there were no little kids, you know, we'd stay up till midnight and, you know, doing presents and food. Then all the kids were little and we'd be done by 7 o'clock. Now they're all older and it's back to being late, but there's that reality of we're all older and we all want to go to bed at some point. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's not fair. All right, so I'm going to sign off here on behalf of the Dark Mom Consortium. I want to thank everyone who joined us today, and especially to you, Ed, because, one, you're Ed. You think yes, of all these so. crazy, wonderful things, and you let me know about other fun things that I should be paying attention to. <laughs> thank you very much for that. Dante, thank you. Um, uh, he sent us some lyrics to something which we need to try. But we'll do that okay. maybe tonight. Sleep well, yeah. rest well, Ed. Get some rest after your long night last night. Um, oh, oh that box shooting just gave me uh, a little wake up. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, so for everybody, um, complete your week uh, with um, as much fun as you can stand and stay awesome. Bye bye. Bye bye. <laughs>